Sunday morning, putting the marriage on the line for fishing. And uh, I've heard, I've heard that there are some brown trout moving uh, up the river, up the Yukabi, after the rains that happened on Friday. So, so the plan is to head up and see if I can catch a few brownies, a few big browns, that'd be great, or a big brown, that'd be great. And uh, we'll work from the side of the river over the Starlink. I'm glad you enjoyed it because they've been specifically designed for the angler. They yeah. You see more of the distance and less of up close because you're not reading the newspaper. Where are you going to be? Uh, let's say I'm going to be in uh, areas with some trees. So I'm going to I'm going to be going from sunlight to shadow fairly often. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose between the rose and the silver. Okay. I'm probably going to lean towards the rose mirror. Okay. And the purpose of leaning towards a rose mirror is when you get into these really shady environments and you want to really improve the contrast. Right. Um, you're still getting all the polarization you need. That extra four percent of light transmission is going to really make your eggs still feel really comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's by far my quickest ever stop in Boss Outdoors. I was bordering on being rude to everyone in there in my rush to get maybe an, an hour or two fishing Sunday afternoon. Number two, when tying flies to fill a fly box, should I tie one of each of various flies or four to six of each fly? The kebabs at this place are top-notch. These kebabs are so good. There are two types of people in this world. There are people who want to beat the GPS time and there are uh, everybody else. And I definitely fall into the latter group. Um, I don't really mind whether I beat the GPS time or not. I've certainly got the car to beat the GPS time. But uh, today, with a stop at Boss Outdoors to buy some glow bugs, and a stop for fuel and wood, and for a kebab, I reckon I've done pretty well to uh, I think it's probably a match of the GPS time. I'm arriving, I left it just before nine and I'm arriving here at 10 past three at Denison. 3.45, starting the walk down to the river. Let's uh, see what I can do in the next hour and a half or so before it stops. It's pretty cold, it was raining on the way up. Exciting. is the face of pain <sighs> had two chances to get him in the net long handled net no excuse oh and yes he was foul hooked but it would have got me on the board at least 
saw a fish porpoise out the water there. Four pounds. They all count. It's not really what I'm here for. the nymph. Can't ask for more than that. Fished for a couple of hours. Got a four pound brown and a little brown and a, sort of a decent rainbow, maybe a pound, pound and a quarter. Happy with that. Of course, dropped a monster, but uh, that's, that's on me. That's, that's just not, not working hard enough at the net making more of an effort it was in the net oh, so frustrating anyway it was file hooked so it wouldn't have counted all good let's see what this brick this this week brings i caught all those three fish uh, on my hannock superb 10 foot 9 three weight uh, with my bower reel and then sunline sort of fluoro line to an sa mini swivel and then below that some SA Cyter which is actually 2x and then below that tippet ring and then I don't know maybe 80 centimeters a meter of 3x trout hunter 3x to a nymph uh, a nymph with a gold bead head uh, which is which is what Ant recommended and then 30 centimeters below that a dirty egg one of those uh, otter, otter ones from Manic. So I wish that my mate Todd was here. Hopefully he'll join me later on this week. I've got a full bottle of Stone's original green ginger wine. I'm going to put it in with the, the best of Japanese sahi. Happy days. This is a little bonus video. Initially it was supposed to be a two-part of the first day down in the South Island, uh, but it felt a bit short.